Hello everybody, my name is Jay. I'm one of the expert teachers here at E2 Language. What we're going to do today is something a bit different. I'm going to write a PT essay in real time uh, and I'm going to sort of think aloud so you can understand what it is I'm thinking while I'm planning out and writing each of my paragraphs and each of my sentences. Hopefully this will be a good way for you to sort of get inside my head to see how I sort of think about structure, uh, content, uh, grammar a little bit. I'll explain a little bit about grammar as well. So it might be an interesting way for you to see how to write a well-structured and hopefully a good essay. And after it, we're going to look at the uh, scoring of the essay and we'll determine whether or not I have actually written a good essay using the E2 language structure. Uh, cool. Anyway, let's get started. So this is PT writing write essay. So first thing I want to do is look at the question prompt. Now I wrote this question prompt. I haven't thought about it. Okay. I really have not put any thinking into it. So although I wrote it, I, I, I haven't considered what I'm going to write about. So let's read it together. It says some people believe that success in life depends upon hard work, while others believe it depends upon this or depends on the social circumstances you were born into. Okay, so what's going on here? So we've got two sides of the coin here. I've got uh, success depending on hard work and success depending on social circumstances. Okay, let's do it again. Success depending on hard work, discipline, motivation, etc., and success depending on where you're born, what your parents do, whether they have money, what sort of society or country you're born into, etc. Okay, and it says uh, discuss both these points of view and give your opinion, support your point of view with reasons and or examples from your own experience or observations. Okie dokie, let's have a look at this. This is the structure that I'm going to use. This is the E2 language write essay superstructure. So I'm going to write four paragraphs, an introduction, paragraph one, paragraph two, and a conclusion. My introduction will have three sentences or three parts, not necessarily sentences. First sentence is I'm going to rewrite the general statement. So I'm going to take this here about the belief in success depending on hard work or social circumstances. I'm going to rewrite that into my own, in my own words, into a sentence here. Sentence two, I'm going to mention side one and two. So I'm going to mention how some people believe that uh, success depends on hard work and some believe it depends on where you were born. Sentence three, I'm gonna give my overall opinion. I'm actually gonna choose a side. So I might actually say, I believe, for example. In paragraph one, I'm gonna restate side one. So I'm gonna talk about, uh, let's say, uh, hard work as the uh, cause of success. I'm gonna give some reasons, give some examples, and I'm gonna conclude that. Paragraph two, I'm gonna talk about how social situations can lead to success or be the cause of success. Same thing, I'm gonna give reasons, examples, I'm gonna give I'm going to conclude that paragraph. Then in my conclusion, I'm going to rewrite the general statement again in a different way. And then I'm going to give my overall opinion. Okay, so this is how I'm going to structure my essay. Now I'm going to do this and think aloud as I do it. Okay, so what I effectively want to do here is take this sentence here, some people believe that success in life depends upon hard work, while others believe it depends on the social circumstances you were born into. What I'm going to do is not rewrite this, I'm going to write a general statement about this. So I'm gonna write something like, uh, all right, let me think here. I'm gonna write something about success, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna keep it pretty short and to the point. There are various ways that one can be successful in life, okay? That's fine, that's just a short, simple sentence here uh, based on that topic, okay? Sure, that'll do. In fact, I'm gonna stop there, that's fine. Sentence two, I'm gonna briefly mention side one and two. Um, so here we go. So some people believe that success depends on hard work, um, so application, uh, motivation, diligence, for example. Others, think of, uh, others believe it depends on social circumstances, so where you were born, which country you are born into, what your socioeconomic status is. So let's write this down here. So success largely depends on two factors. 
The first is uh, your application in life, comma, or how hard you work. Okay, so I've actually, I'm not writing a single sentence here. I'm actually going to write three sentences, but that's fine. It's, it's a part of that uh, sentence two, for example. So the second is the situation into which you were born. Or let's let's like make it a bit more specific here. The socio, let's make it socioeconomic because I believe that's it. The socioeconomic situation into which you were born. Okay, cool. So I've written that part here. Okay, sentence three. Give your overall opinion. Choose side one or two. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say although um, your socio economic, no, I don't want to repeat that word, okay? I don't want to fall into that trap of repeating the same word. So although you're uh, although uh, where you were born, uh, you were born um, influences whether or not you will be successful, I believe that hard work, um, no, I've repeated that already. I've used hard work. I've said how hard you work. Uh, I believe that um, your determination, there's a nice synonym, is essential, is most essential um, for success. Okay, cool. I've written my uh, opening introduction there. So I'm going to put the sentences together now. And let's have a read of this here. So there are various ways that one can be successful in life. Success largely depends on two factors. The first is your application in life or how hard you work. The second is the socioeconomic situation into which you were born. Although where you were born influences whether or not you will be successful, I believe that your determination is most essential for success. It's okay, it's, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. I think it's on top, it's definitely on topic. Um, I would actually go back and sort of edit this, but I'm going to move pretty quickly through this. Okay, I'm just going to move this so it doesn't uh, overlap here. Okay, now I'm going to re I'm going to write paragraph one. So I'm going to make some space here. Excuse me, paragraph one. Okay, sentence one. Restate side one. So let's think about side one. So uh, I'm going to be writing about whether hard work results in success or not. Okay, that's that's what this paragraph will be about. I'm not going to talk about social circumstances in this paragraph. So I'm going to say something like, um, quite clearly, um, one's level of, um, one's level of what? One's level of determination. Well, I've used that word, but that's okay. I can use it again. One's level of uh, application in life results in or can result in, um, what's another word for success? Can result in uh, life achievements, something like that. That's not great, but let's uh, keep going. Sentence two, I need to give reasons. Um, let's say something like, um, although um, society can be unfair, um, there are numerous examples of people who have made a success of their life um, despite their situations. Now, I said I wasn't going to talk about social circumstances, but I am, but only in the context of talking about hard work, who have made a success of their life despite the situation through um, I'm going to say hard work again, although I'm going to repeat it. That's fine. So I'm going to put these sentences together. Sentence three, I'm going to give some examples. Okay. So let's use, um, let's use an example. Now I'm not going to use a specific person. I could, the first thing that comes to my mind is Steve Jobs, for example, who was, who was adopted, I believe at birth, he would be a great example of someone who worked hard despite his situations. Um, now, what I'll do instead is I'll just say there are many entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, oh my God, how do I spell that? Entrepreneurs, for example, who 
um, have achieved enormous, enormous, what have they achieved? We've achieved, let's just say great things in their lives by applying themselves, applying themselves to a particular task. Okay, cool. It's again, I'm, I'm going to write this, this essay in about 10 minutes. Uh, it's not great, but uh, it's, it's certainly using the structure and it probably, to be honest, it would probably receive a, a top score anyway. Now I'm going to conclude this side. Okay. And now this is my opinion. So I want to conclude with a pretty strong opinion here or a strong uh, emphasis on my belief that hard work pays off. Okay. So I want to conclude this. Okay, so let's let's say something like um, um, let's let's use a little discourse marker like uh, in short um, there are numerous your oh, own numerous that's not right there are numerous examples of people who have succeeded. I don't want to use example again. Instances, there you go. There are numerous instances of people who have succeeded in life because of uh, their application, determination, hard work. I definitely don't want to use hard work again because of their um, devotion to a particular, um, a particular what, a particular, um, to a particular task, to a particular subject, to a particular, oh, this isn't quite working. So I'm going to go back and delete that, who've succeeded in life because of their um, dedication, that's nice, because of their dedication um, to their work. Okay, cool. I'm kind of happy with that. That's not too bad. Let's go back and read paragraph one. Quite clearly, one's level of application in life can result in life achievements. Although society can be unfair, there are numerous examples of people who have made a success of their life despite their situation through hard work. There are many entrepreneurs, for example, who have achieved great things in their lives by applying themselves to a particular task. In short, there are numerous instances of people who have succeeded in life because of their dedication to their work. It's not great, but whatever. I hope this is a good example for you. Okay, let's do paragraph two now. Now I'm going to talk about social situations. I'm going to say something like, there is no doubt that um, the situation you are born into can make your, can make your life, uh, can make it easier to succeed in life. However, this is not always the case, okay? Uh, now I need an example, for example, or, uh, yep, I can just start with, for example, uh, many wealthy, many people, many people who are born into wealth may still struggle um, to attain, to attain success. Ah, this word, to attain achievements. What else have I got? Let's just say worldly achievements. Um, after all, money cannot buy, uh, let's say money cannot buy, cannot buy talent. Okay. Whatever, I wrote that in two minutes, so let's see. There is no doubt that the situation you are born into can make it easier to succeed in life. However, this is not always the case. For example, many people who are born into wealth may still struggle to attain worldly achievements. After all, money cannot buy talent. Okay, cool, not bad. Let me just shrink the size of this text here. Uh, now I'm gonna write the conclusion. So what I'm going to do here is rewrite this general statement again. Um, some, some sort of overall general neutral statement. Then I'm going to hone in on my opinion, which actually came in paragraph one about my belief that hard work uh, is the thing that leads to success. Okay, so I'm gonna rewrite the general statement. Um, 
and let me say something like um, in life it is difficult to be successful. Now I have used the word success many times. This is a different form. Okay, it's the same word, but successful as opposed to success. So that's okay. You can use different word forms and it's still, in a way, it's still a synonym. So in life, it is difficult to be successful. Um, um, I want to say whether it be, um, I want to say something about, you know, whether it be socially, uh, financially. So let's maybe put some of these in here. In life, it is difficult to be socially or financially successful. Okay, cool, that's fine. That's not a bad little opening statement. Now what I'm going to do is uh, really hone in on my opinion. It is my belief, and it's, by the way, it is fine to use personal pronouns like I or my, not too many times, but you can certainly use them. It is my belief that um, the level of effort there you go, there's another word for hard work, it just came to me. It is my belief that the level of effort you apply to your life um, um, uh, is a better indicator of success. Um, is a, is a, is a, sorry, let me read it again. It is my belief that the level of effort you apply to your life is a better indicator of success than... Um, the socio-economic situation you are born into. Um, you know what? I'm going to write another third little sentence here. I'm going to say something like, life rewards those who try hard. Okay, cool. Uh, there is my essay, and I've written that in about, uh, uh, how long? About 12 minutes. So, on test day, of course, I would spend much more time sort of thinking through each of those sentences, but I didn't want to bore you. I just wanted to write them out. So what I'm going to do now is, uh, or what I would do is I would do an edit. So let's do that. Let's make sure I haven't done anything stupid. So let's start with the introduction. There are various ways that one can be successful in life. Success largely depends on two factors. The first is your application in life or how hard you work. The second is the socioeconomic situation into which you were born. Although where you were born influences whether or not you will be successful, I believe that your determination is most essential for success. Good, I think that's the sort of logical paragraph. This one I'm not so happy with. I'm, I don't mind this one and I don't mind this one. Let's have a look at this one. Quite clearly, one's level of application in life can result in life achievements. Although society can be unfair, there are numerous examples of people who have made a success of their life despite their situation through hard work. Okay, I don't like this hanging off here. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna say who have made a success of their life, made a success of their life through hard work despite their situation. That's better. Or I might even make that plural. That's much nicer. There are many entrepreneurs, for example, who have achieved great things in their lives. Um, I've just keep using this. I'm going to delete it out. Great things by applying themselves to a particular task. Uh, let's put in this nice little adverb here, assiduously. Okay, that means to have uh, like great application or great effort, applying themselves assiduously to a particular task. Now, there are, I've used this twice, haven't I? I've said there are many entrepreneurs, and here I've said, in short, um, let's change this. I'm going to say, I'm going to just be really absolutist here. I'm going to say, in short, people succeed because of dedication. Okay, people succeed um, in life. I don't want to say that. People succeed um, in their jobs or in their social lives because of dedication. Okay, that's a bit better. Let's read this second paragraph. There is no doubt that the situation you are born into can make it, the situation you were born into, are born into, the situation you were born into, I think I'll put that in the past, it is easier to succeed in life. However, this is not always the case. For example, many people who are born into wealth may still struggle to attain worldly achievements. After all, money cannot buy talent. Um, money cannot buy talent or dedication or uh, money cannot buy talent or 
uh, I don't. I want to add something here. Money cannot buy talent, or mm, determination. Or let's let's put motivation in there just to mix it up. In life, it is difficult to be socially or financially successful. Let's get rid of this comma. I think I don't need it. It is my belief that the level of effort you apply to your life is a better indicator of success than socioeconomic um, than the socioeconomic situation you are born into were born into. Life rewards those who try hard. Cool. Now let's make sure I've actually written on topic here. So some people believe that success in life depends upon hard work, while others believe it depends on the social circumstances you were born into. I mean, here now I sort of think that maybe I could have mentioned like not just the financial situation, but whether your parents were well educated, for example. Um, but anyway, it's too late. Here is my uh, essay. Let me just check the word count briefly. Cool. All right. So I've actually written 230 words. That's fine. It's above 200. It's below 300. That's rock and roll. Okay. Let's now check my essay against the criteria or how you're scored. So content. Does my response address the topic? Yes. Development, structure, and coherence. Does my response demonstrate good development of ideas and a logical structure? Not bad. On test day, I would have had more time, so I would spend more time sort of, this one is really about fleshing out your ideas, okay? So my paragraph was a little bit, that first paragraph was a bit repetitive, so I would go back and sort of, you know, add some more into it so it's not repeating the same idea, okay? It's about fleshing out ideas. Length, did I write between 200 and 300 words? Yes. General linguistic range, does my response use language that precisely conveys my ideas? Yes, I think so. Grammar, uh, yes, mine's correct. I have correct grammar. There was a little bit of a funny thing on live or lives. Life, sorry, life or lives. That's always a bit of a funny one in English, plural or singular there, but otherwise I've used correct grammar throughout. Uh, vocabulary range, I was very conscious not to repeat words. Does my response demonstrate a command of a broad vocabulary range? Yes, and did I spell everything correctly? I hope so, I think so. If you need extra help with your essay, then what you might want to do is submit one through our platform at e2language.com for feedback. It'll take 24 to 48 hours to receive your feedback. You'll get an indicative score and lots of uh, pointers on what you're doing right and wrong. If you need additional help, you can get a tutorial. It's one-on-one, -on -one, 45 minutes with one of our expert teachers. And if you do want to take a mini mock test, which includes writing feedback and speaking feedback, check it out at e2language.com. Anyway, let me know what you thought of that. Hopefully it wasn't too boring. That was me writing an essay in real time. That's how I would do it. They are my thinking patterns as I write. I'm thinking about structure, etc. Cool. Hopefully it helps you out. Thanks for watching.